It is proven that humans will only use 10% of their brain. Oh, that's that's a big disagree. It's not a myth, it's just a, it's wrong. <laughs> Hi, I'm Azlina Ahmad Anwar and I'm a neurogeneticist at University of Malaya. And today we're discussing internet hot takes about brain health. Walnuts are good for brain health because it looks like a brain. <laughs> Yeah, um, yes, in general, walnuts are good for the brain, but I, I don't typically recommend uh, choosing uh, a food based on whether or not they resemble a body organ. But uh, nuts in general are, are healthy for you. They have um, lots of uh, omega-3, which are fatty acids, which are good for brain health, as well as uh, antioxidants, which help with uh, reducing inflammation, which can be quite harmful for the brain. So not just walnuts, but uh, a lot of other nuts like uh, Brazil nuts, uh, pistachios and uh, macadamias, for example, they, they can also be really good for you. Dementia only happens to old people. Yes, I agree to a certain extent. Around about 90% uh, of dementia does happen to older people, but there is a small percentage, about 5%, that can happen in people younger than 50 years old, and they tend to happen in people with a family history of dementia, and that's uh, mainly uh, driven by genetics, whereas the people who get it slightly older in age, typically over the age of 65, that usually occurs without any family history, and that's probably a combination of different factors. Listening to classical music doesn't actually help increase a baby's IQ. Mm, I agree to a certain extent. I think listening to classical music on its own won't help increase a baby's uh, IQ. Actually, it's probably the parenting style. If a parent is kind of engaged and caring enough to uh, play music and be engaging, wanting to stimulate the child, then probably what's happening is that that parent together with other parenting skills is actually helping to boost the baby's uh, IQ significantly. So that there's no magic bullet. It is proven that humans will only use 10% of their brain. Oh, that's, that's, a big, that's a big disagree. Yeah, so actually I don't know where that myth came from. It's not really backed uh, by science. Actually, even when we're sleeping, our brain is super active. And, you know, we're releasing hormones even when we sleep. Uh, and that uses much more than just 10%. So we've got to forget this 10%. It's not a myth, it's just a, it's wrong. <laughs> Mind maps don't actually help you remember things better. This one is um, kind of a, a no, but also a yes. So a person who is likely to use a mind map is probably someone who's being engaged in wanting to learn something. So after they've studied something, they're wanting to sort of bring all the facts together and link it and revise it. So probably that sort of action is what's more useful than the mind map itself. But of course, the mind map is helpful in revising certain facts or linking things. So that's why I'm sort of 50-50 there. Over-reliance in technology is causing long-term harm to the brain. That, I think, I'll have to agree with yes. I think a lot of us um, are maybe using uh, technology to outsource certain brain function, like in navigation or in, even in calculation, even in writing. If you use less of your brain, then it's not getting that sort of daily exercise, you're not making the right connections, the networks, and effectively, um, it will start to say, hey, you don't need me anymore, and then it'll just uh, start to deteriorate. So examples of over-reliance would be overusing GPS technology to find your way home of a route that you take every day. Try to break that habit and try to look outside and look at the landmarks and learn the landscape around you because that is also really helpful for your memory. Um, Over-reliance could also be purposely not memorising uh, facts that you should really know uh, because you think that you can just uh, Google it. It's really important for information and knowledge to be in your brain. The facts and understanding needs to be built up uh, through thinking and through imagining and through predicting. So I think the key word is over-reliance. I think it's fine if you use, I mean, you know, everybody uses like Google Calendar and, um, you know, <coughs> GPS, but if you don't make any attempt to try to remember and that becomes a habit, then that is a problem, I think. 
Um, you won't see the effect probably in the first five years or so, but you know, long term, 20, 30 years down the line, it might definitely cause a problem. Yeah, so um, don't over rely on technology. Aimlessly scrolling through social media feeds is killing our brain cells. I think the key word here is aimlessly. To that statement, I would agree. If you're doing something aimlessly for anything, it's probably not good for your brain. Now, whether or not it's killing brain cells, probably not killing them, but you have to think about when you're doing it. This aimless scrolling through of social media usually happens at night when you should probably be sleeping and getting a good night's rest. That has an impact on your brain, for sure. Because number one, looking at the phone um, at night, the blue light is going to be affecting your brain. Uh, it's going to be affecting things like the release of hormones that help you feel sleepy, all the knock-on effects um, on all the other hormones that need to be released through the night so that you wake up uh, fresh the next day. It probably doesn't put you in the right state of mind either to go to sleep because you're getting so much information coming into your brain and your brain it tries to digest it through the night and that's really hard uh, for the brain to do when it's trying to wind down <laughs> so yeah aimlessly doing anything not good um, and particularly if you're doing it at night uh, is also probably a combined effect that's not good for your long-term brain health What's a brain health hot take you might have? Ask us during BFM Health and Living's upcoming event happening on the 14th of October from 10am to 3pm. Get your tickets today. More details via the link here.